Welcome back to Bavarian RC. In today's video, I'll show you the little flying wing called Puri in flight. The Puri is a lightweight, pocket-sized RC plane that guarantees plenty of fun. If you haven't seen my time-lapse build video, then check out the link in the description below or in the upper right corner. Using the laser cut build kit, the Puri can be built fairly quick and easy. For more info or for ordering your own Puri, check out the link to the VTH shop in the description below. In the second half of the video, I will share with you my main settings and lessons learned. If you know some of my previous flight videos, you will notice that this one is slightly different. It is filmed entirely from the ground, without any onboard footage. The Puri is a very small and light wing. So, strapping a 90 grams GoPro to a 135 grams aircraft is not gonna work. It was quite challenging to film this little fun flyer, but using two GoPros and a 360 camera, it finally worked out. Now let's gear up and fly the little Puri. So what are my conclusions? The build was really quick and straightforward. Something you could manage within a few evenings of work. The electronic equipment is not very demanding and also not putting too much stress on your finances. The Puri is a flexible concept. You can change between glider setup and motor setup just by swapping the middle rib. Even an EDF version is possible. With an all-up weight of 135 grams, you are way below 250 grams, which allows you to fly legally at almost any location. The small size compared to other RC planes makes the Puri a perfect anytime, anywhere plane. 
Here you see a comparison between the Puri and the horizontal stabilizer of my Triple Neo. Especially with my motor setup, the Puri is super fast and agile. Even in windy conditions it performs really well. The only drawback is the stability of the ailerons, which tend to flutter at high speed. The most tricky thing, at least for me, is to hand launch it. The rip gives you just a little bit of grip and you can mess up the launch easily if you don't follow some basic advices. But more on that later. To summarize, if you are looking for a small size anywhere anytime plane, with little build effort and high fun factor, then the Puri is your choice. Now I will give you some tips and tricks that might be helpful if you decide to build your own Puri. Delta Mixer As the two control surfaces act as a mix of elevator and aileron, you will need to use a Delta Mixer. Elevator setting. The instruction says the neutral position should be about 2 mm up. Well, the question is against what you measure the 2 mm. For the maiden flight, I totally messed up this setting and ended up in a short aerobatic display right after launch. To make the correct setting, locate the rib next to the vertical fin and put a ruler along the rib. In its neutral position, the elevator should be flush with the ruler throws and expo. For both the elevator and aileron function I have used a throw of 6 mm up and down. Especially at higher speed this is more than enough. I have added 50% expo on both aileron and elevator. Center of gravity. The recommended position of the CG indicated by the two little grooves works perfectly. The best way to check the CG is by putting the Puri upside down and holding it loosely at the middle rib. Motor and prop. If you are using the recommended hacker motor, then you will notice that the prop is attached with a rubber band. This works quite fine as the prop will not break when contacting the ground during landing. Nevertheless, these rubber bands tend to break every now and then. The two bands supplied with the motor broke rather quickly, the first one even before the first flight. So make sure to have plenty of rubber bands on stock. Color scheme I strongly recommend applying a color scheme with a clear difference between upper and lower side. Due to its size, it can be quite challenging to properly recognize the flight attitude of this microwind. Hand launch. As said before, the launch was sometimes a bit tricky for me. What worked best for me is to trim 5 ticks up before launch, then grab the middle rib with your thumb and middle finger right at the CG. Put your index finger at the rear tip of the rib, then give it a firm toss about 30 degrees up without applying power. Once in the air, slowly speed up the motor, trim back the 5 ticks and you should be good. I hope you liked my video. If yes, please consider subscribing and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching Bavarian RC.